Hello and welcome to this war of mine. I'm not wearing my headset because I don't feel like grabbing it and I don't feel like having to deal with audio errors at the moment. However, I have downloaded Audacity, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I've already tried to uh, uh, record this, but it wasn't, in, wasn't really in the best quality, nor was it in... Nor was I not... Or, I was having problems, so let's attempt this again. I want to know if this is randomly generated. What is that? Wait. What? Whoa, what does this game have in it that's different? Because I have it on pencil. It's, it's sketchy. To make everything readable because I kind of wanted to make it readable. That's why I wanted. That's why I put it on high. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly figure out everything here. Those are credits. Pencil effect, soft or sketchy. I'm gonna stay with sketchy. I'll be honest. I'm trying to figure out like. Let's go another try and see what this is. There's like... Anniversary Edition mode. Confused. What is this? Anniversary Edition. This, with this option enabled, you can be sure you'll be playing the content of the Anniversary Edition, including new locations, new characters, and new ending? Otherwise, it'll be included at random. Okay. So it's saying the content of Anniversary Edition. So what can we pick from? I didn't get to pick before, it just threw me straight in. So we have Katie, Brune, Pever, and that. Pablo, uh, Bruce, and Marx. Eskir, Krista. Just resolution right quick because I want to see if I can read it and slightly better quality hopefully it didn't break anything looks like it did because it, my desktop just popped up yeah it just it just crashed software <laughs> oof ouch ouch I gotta re I gotta reopen the game I also have the Little Ones DLC downloaded. I don't know if I ever want to... Well, I'm not saying I don't want to ever touch that, but I'm just saying, like, hey, I might touch that at some point if I can actually get this to record and this be interesting. So... I think I'm going to go for higher quality, like I do play games, just so I can read it. Modern War is... What setting is it on? 1080? Let's see if I can actually read it this time. I can read it better, I tell you that for sure, and I'm gonna keep it that way. So let's go... Let's go with the middle one. I don't... Cause I got... I just got straight thrown into one with... A dad and a small child. Or her, his daughter. I do believe. I think it was. Um, so let's load up. Day one of war. So basically, the reason I wanted to do... I, this was basically going to be the thing till season three, but Christmas is right around the corner. So... Oh, this is running better than I thought it would. Slightly better than what I thought it would. Hmm. Is this the same building as before? Is a great question, or is it a different? Is it a completely different building altogether? Because. Interesting to know. It 
So it looks like we have three different people now. Making us a, a completely different experience altogether. So let's see what we got here. This is a huge area now I have to work with. Instead of what I ever what I originally had, which was um just a small little house. It's like this looks like an apartment building maybe. That got destroyed or some sort of workstation. How long has the siege lasted? It's hard to say. When every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Oh, shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. This is a shortage of food. There is a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together, and they met Pavel, scavenging for supplies. He used to be a precarious star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of the war. So they leaned hope on each other. So. Alright, so I'm gonna play. I can have multiple people do multiple things at once. So that's what I think I'll have them do. Uh, I want you to. No, no, no. No, I want you to go over here. And I want you to see if you could break down that door. Grab all, because we're going to need everything. Uh, I want you to see about breaking that, I do believe. Uh, what's the football player up to? We can get that rubbish out of the way, which will get us to a closet. Uh, you can go in through here. I can fence the lock open with my tools, but where are your tools? It's locked. Can you open it, though? Where are your, where are your tools to begin with? Alright, fine, then. I'll just have you go up there. You're busy doing that. I want you to go downstairs. Oh, he's gonna take a shortcut. Just straight drop down. That works. I think... So Marco is a skilled scavenger, meaning he might be able to open up more stuff and get it out of the way, I do believe, maybe? So we're gaining more and more stuff easily. This actually is a lot more enjoyable than the first time I played it. Because now I'm like, oh wait, I can do way more, I have more players to do things with. And uh, when I first did it, I only had, I do believe I only had... Uh, a guy to work with, and I knew the kid probably couldn't do anything, so I didn't really use the kid for anything at all. So now that I have three guys, I can see I'm to place better and get more, get better items. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. That's what I'm doing, anyways. That's what I'm trying to say. I also have to see if everything is working right. Oh, he's making, he's making good work of that. Uh, we need whoever this is I think we can get him to go down there there's some there's a ladder there we can get him to go down you've searched the area grab all we can all right let's see if we can get you to somehow work on that as we slowly start searching everything around this place. So we have basically a crafting bench here, if I remember correctly. Once this door gets unlocked, we're gonna have to go through both of these somehow. Or take some time to do that, and then go through there. So there are snipers apparently around here. Oh, uh, got some. Uh... It's locked, but it's locked. Uh, well, then go down here and see if there's anything I can do down here. Then. Oh wait, no, 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 no! I grabbed the wrong person. 
need you to break that. You're working on that. He can come down here to figure that out because we got a plethora of doors that are locked and we might as well, right? Once we get everything around here all sort assorted and we can get everything that we physically can here, I don't know what else we can do from, th from here on out. But what I do know is that once we get everything we need, we could possibly we have a chance of being able to do this. He broke through. Oh, we've we've also got a good cook on the team as well, so call that a win-win. I forgot I had a watch somewhere lying around. It's up there and it beeps because uh, I set an alarm for it. Ooh, what's that? A lock pick. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll take that lock pick and go use it on a door once we find wherever that one guy went. I sent him somewhere and I can't remember where I sent him. He's on the stair. Oh, so I have a choice now. Do I want to? What's that? I'm curious to know what that is. But I want to pick lock that first. Oh, he's got a nasty headache. Alright, I need you to go in through here, see about what that thing is over there. Or is that a pick lock? Is that another pick lock option? That is a pick lock option. Okay. This guy's almost done with this debris, so... This guy's gonna pick lock this, which will take him some time. Uh, is he. When will he be done? Alright, you're done with that. Go unlock that. And. I want this guy to start working on the debris in a way. How are we doing over here? So everyone's doing something. What is this guy doing at the moment? What can we get him to go do? Something over here. I don't know what that was, but he was si someone was sitting there earlier. It's like a ten. A it's ten o'clock already, and we still haven't gone very far in the day. Let's check my things here. Some thoughts. Our shelter is one depressing, ugly ruin. We should do something about it. We only have one chair. <laughs> we lost. Wait, we lack beds and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete. And the conditions of the of those who are sick and and or wounded may uh, drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. <laughs> a good book could help us forget the horrors of the war. Staying here is slightly better than living on the streets. We lack cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls, our shelter is not safe, and we have to be constantly on guard. Okay, so we have raw food, herbs, components, parts, clean water, wood, and electric parts. Okay. So <clears throat> Can we cook this food? So I have a good cook... This guy's our good cook, but he's in the middle of doing something, so I'm gonna let him do that, and then I'm gonna see if I can have him cook something. Um, how do how do I make sure that I don't? Oh, the wrestler's or hashtag fast runner is slightly wounded. Bruno's slightly sick. Okay, so I'm getting stats like, uh pronto like it's giving me stuff like I want to look at the bio but I don't remember what the bio was how to how to look at their bio is it right click it is not right click I have then confirmed it's not right click so this these two must be upgrade and make stuff for the house so 
Okay, so all he's gonna do is go sit. But I want him to go go to go to the front. Okay, let's see if he's back here. Who's that one guy standing there? What is Bruno doing over there? I thought I sent him to go. Bruno, what are you doing? I'm supposed to go over there and take care of that. Please, I'm begging you. Actually, follow my orders, please. Okay. So components we need: one bill, one bed will be made. How long? It's like one hour. Components we need, so I have 30. I have enough to make a couple beds for everybody. A couple chairs. A simple heater I have, barely enough. Workshop. A crude stove. Moonshine still. Metal workshop. Rainwater collector. Consumables. A filter. Fuel. Fuel. I... I don't want to do anything yet. <coughs> oh boy, it's an east. Let me see what we got here. Improvements. Enables the manufacture of more. What created further? Let's do it. Do that. That'll get us more things, I do believe. Uh, you're over there going back to the rubble like I wanted you to. <laughs> He's gonna build that. Uh, I'm thinking we could maybe build some lockpicks, hopefully, I bet. I hope. And I hope none of this stuff starts becoming all picklock stuff. That would be frustrating. He's gonna, he's gonna crack open. Or not crack open, he's gonna disperse everything here. In this rubble. He can now get through there, like nothing, and then go see if that's locked or not. Ah, it's locked. How did I know it was locked? Uh, you're a skilled scavenger and I don't care. How you pull that off, but I want you to go upstairs, take care of that debris, get as much of this stuff cleared out as possible. At least, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, what do we got here? Ah, we can craft more stuff now. Okay, cool. Uh, don't need to, though. Board up. You can board up holes and windows in the building, making more protection against looters. Okay. We can make only one bed. One bed. And we won't. We will have enough for one board. Make one bed. Where do I want to place it? Let's place it. That's a great question. Where do I want to place it? We're below floor level here. This is like a huge basement. Can I drag it? I can drag it. Where can I put it though? Is a great question. Like, do we want to have our like base of operations? But we can't get we can't get down there, can we? Let's have our base of operations up here somewhere. Putting it right there in front of the light might not work. Let's put it. Let's place it right there. Then we'll have enough to board up that, I hope. Uh. Because then. But look at how much that hole is right there. That's more. I don't know which one's more important. 
that hole or that one. Either way, it's pretty huge. Easy to craft as a bed. Alright, so we're slowly having everything put together. It's not enough to end the night, or end the day yet. I do believe we can get more out of that one and he can start... He can at least start breaking down this up top here. Can I please go up? Thank you. But we've got, like, no extra building around here. I don't know when scavenging becomes an option, but I hope it's not really that soon. Considering things go down horribly, and not just that, but I believe that looters might be my most suspicious of worries, because now I have holes. Oh, it's locked. I forgot that that was locked. Uh, so you can go down to here and help fabricate this place. And we got a bed now! A single bed. Not three of them. We need three. <coughs> that means we also have one person standing around. Don't know what this guy is going to go do. Because he's slightly injured. They can probably just have him lay in the new bed that I just made. I really don't know what else to do with him. Yet. You're done with that. I want you to go check this. This guy here finds. I don't know what I want to do more. Do I want to board up something or do I want to work on more substantial stuff that actually might help us? Like a radio! Oh, but we'll have enough. Let's get the radio, boys. Where do I want to place it? I want to place it in the kitchen. No, I want to place it one level below, just in case some scavengers come by and they actually, like, rob my radio from me. Oh, this one's open. This one's open. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's free stuff. Let's see what we got in this one. A valuable. Can we trade that for stuff? I hope that that wasn't a bad thing. I really hope I'm not just wasting all my materials on, like, one go here. Because I'd really hate myself if I were doing that. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. I want to know if we can eventually start uh, creating pick locks. That'd be interesting. We can make a board up. Oh, what's he gonna go do? I literally just said go uh, craft the board up thing and there he goes off to... I can assume that it's saying slightly wounded, but he's recovering, so I'll take that as a good thing. I want to say that's what's happening right now. I really want to know the bio, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, so they're recovering in the bed. Okay, so the more beds we get, the better, I do believe. Alright, now that you have a radio... The rubber leaders instructed us to... Warn the, listen warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. 
Oh, okay. What's going on? What was this? What is this war about? Wait, wait, wait. Could I? Could I change something? Some classical music. Still like tuning to try and find a. Uh... The upcoming, the upcoming days should still be nice and warm, perfect for a stroll in the park. Ooh, ooh, I got something, I got something. Uh, the upcoming days are just this way. Under the radio so you get something. Hi. Kind of slowly tune it until you find something of interest. We could go faster with this, I bet. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Pregrum, the city remains cut off. The government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Oh. Oh, so we can't aid anybody. The city remains from cut off. The forces do not allow any aid to reach the city. Okay, so we gotta be more careful of that. Oh, we've got some amnesia sound effects over here. Oopsie daisy, went too far. Go have him go up as a chair here. Oh, so we're like boarding up this big piece right here. So I don't really have an option, but it's worth it though to get that all boarded up, I suppose. I'm gonna alt tab to <coughs> make sure everything's still recording fine and dandy. Oh man, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game so far. This is this was worth my time. This is actually worth my time to try and like record it not just that but like even the frame rate drops i'm fine with it i like it actually kind of gives me like a full scale of what i've got here you know oh we get it we get it going we got that all boarded up good job gentlemen 5 p.m. and we don't know what to do yet. Alright. I want this guy to go down here. Check and see how many materials we got. I want this guy to go sit down. Relax for a bit while our injured guy 
up there is relaxing in the bed. <clears throat> I'm just trying to find ways to waste time for this day so I have a purpose. Like we've already gone through all the stuff we can. Let's see what we got here. Uh improvement house uh we need everything it looks like uh we need gears oh we have enough whatever this is we have enough of we have enough electrical parts uh we don't have enough wood anything really necessary to make anything good all right then let's find out what we need to craft no, go sit down. I'm clicking the wrong people because I got navigated over to him. Okay, so we can make a chair. Uh, it's a comfortable piece of furniture. If you sit to sit to a good book, you can almost forget about the war. What was the bed? Offers a decent sleep without back pain, no matter if it's night or day. This one we know protects windows. It's better to sit in the chair than on the floor. You should build it to make the place more like home. All oh, guitar. Having something to occupy the time is important. A guitar can brighten up our mood, especially in the person's playing it. The person that is playing it. We have a heating system. It allows you to heat the shelter so that we don't get ill. We can prepare fuel for using wood, etc. Which I don't have enough fuel for. I think I can craft, can't that? No, I need four. Dang it. Let's filter. Homemade single filter that purifies rainwater. Or distill alcohol. A rain catcher. Trap for. Ooh, that's an interesting. Trap for swine. All I need to make tools such as shovels. For clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self-defense. Okay, should have crafted that. What am I doing? Wait, I can craft firearms? Advanced tools or even repair firearms. Ah, I see. So we can upgrade that. Uh, that'll probably help us cool down a bit. Oh, these are so much more helpful than I thought. Why did I not think of these? I was thinking more towards up here. Okay. I think we should end the day. There's nothing really else to do. Let's figure out what we got here. The night. Oh, so we also have a segment with the night in it, huh? Oh, no. I don't. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. I want him to sleep. Slightly sick. Ah, uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I don't have actually no. Don't. I need you to guard while these guys sleep. Because I don't have any self defense. Does that mean I'm gonna need to be drug out to uh get supplies? Because I don't have any. I don't have any. I don't have enough for a workshop or anything. The night was calm. The night was calm. Apart from the echo of distant shots. Okay! Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, we have snipers. So if I would have sent out somebody, he probably would have died. A bigger question is, how am I supposed to do stuff now? When I don't have the materials to do it. So does that mean I had to go scavenge that night somehow? Pull that off? I don't know. Oh, he's no longer sick, but he's hungry. Okay, we need you to... We need you to do something. We need you in that bed. Pronto. And we need someone to cook something. Actually, no. Go back up to that bed. Go up to the bed. Have the hungry guy cook something because he's hungry. 
and then play it out from there because we need I don't know what to do now people got nervous and suspicious in order to provoke okay so I think the strategy I need to do is go back into another day after I check the radio channel in the next episode anyways and attempt to scavenge that night and hope I don't screw up anything ah oh, god he's hungry too I should have scavenged but I don't have a workbench, nor do I have anything to defend myself. Ah! I did not plan that through. I did not read the description right. At all. I gave him something to eat and he's still hungry. Are you sure you exit any unsafe progress? Will I'm gonna hope that's saved. And if it didn't, oh well. I'll I'll try to do better this time. Next time, if it didn't save, but if it did save, I'll be happy to continue. I'll be happy. I'll be happy. I'll be one. I'll be one happy guy. Okay. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of this war of mine. This is that was way more interesting than I thought it was. First time I went through it, I could barely read. And I just thought it was all about the frame rate, you know, I gotta get that good frame rate. But it didn't look that good. It didn't look as if it were fluent, you know? It was just like, oh, it's all blurry. Well, I gotta move this person to this person. And basically what happened the entire time was since I was with uh, the father and the daughter, the daughter was too young to do anything. Uh, or at least I didn't do anything with the daughter because I thought that. And so I was basically not getting any progress whatsoever because I was only using that one guy and as you saw at the breeze it's very frustrating to get by because I literally sat there doing nothing for that entire time so yeah if you guys like the video go ahead and leave a like down below comment anything down below and subscribe to see more of my content as it goes up and hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever my content does go up and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make bye bye